Good afternoon, students. You don't understand what that does to me. I, I, I live with, a, with an absence in my heart 51 weeks of the year. You guys are feeding that hole that's right here, filling it up to the brim and beyond with a power trip that goes on for ages. All of this is my extreme cover band. That's right, this is our show today, but... But not yet. I sit it down, students. I will still have order. We're all young ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we have... An update to the update to the update. <laughs> regarding things online, Nicole. I'll read this first paragraph. The amazing twin our monkeys have been toiling dutifully to return our kingdom to connectivity and bliss. Thank you for your forbearance. If there are any... Somebody is out of forbearance. Someone please assort degrees out of the show. Thank you. Okay. Um, if there are any scheduled questions, please check the Sea Monkey newsletter, which is updated from all sources on board and feeds the schedule in Cruise Monkey. As of two minutes before I walked out on this stage, this is the current status. The new URL... No, wait, no. I mean, there are not, there's not a new one newer than the one I announced before. The updated URL that had been announced previously of joco.rccl.com is currently working. Which means that TwitR is working and the web version of Cruise Monkey is currently working. Uh, to find the web version of Cruise Monkey, we use that URL slash CM. The old URL, jcc6.rccl.com, is currently redirecting to the new one, but as of 12 noon tomorrow, it will go away. So please retrain yourselves and your small devices in your pockets to point to the new one, joco.rccl.com. Also, if you have internet connectivity, the SCED page is, is working. The monitors outside of the gaming room will be updated nightly, and the Sea Monkey will be updated with all Shadow Cruise events. Uh, scheduled. And with the, that URL will be in the CMO tonight as yes, well. Yes, yes, that will be written down elsewhere, but just so you know the status of that. And once again, we thank all of our uh, Twitter our monkeys hammering away <laughs> at our keyboard. Finally, as a reminder, uh, please, if you have not done so, if you have the Cruise Monkey app, please delete it from your devices uh, because it is doing bad things despite whatever your intentions are. You're basically committing a DDoS attack on all of us. <laughs> Not the server, on all of us. <laughs> now, it is time to announce various prizes. But before I do that, I realized I forgot. Would you please rise for your king? Shh, you're singing, shh. Oh, you guys fought to see which of you was going to be the king's consort? Is that how that works? He's not even my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very method king this year. I really shouldn't be betting this before I read it, but I'm going to read it without uh, having a preview. The second decree of Soda King Bill, first of his name. From now on, we shall all travel in tubes. <laughs> Have our cruise scientists begin working on tube technology immediately. <laughs> so it has been spoken. See you later, soda pals.
The king is time. The king is earth. The king is the creep tubes. <laughs> so there'll be a, yes, there'll be a series of twos. Tubes. No, there'll be a series of twos. Apparently it's Sesame Street, we're all gonna travel on twos. It's time to start announcing uh, a number of prizes. First of all, from the folks who played in the Magic the Gathering event this morning, uh, with Gavin. Give it up for Gavin. And, and uh, Volcano Gavin. Okay, status report. It's Tuesday. Gavin is still with us on the show. For those of you who weren't here last year, our friend Gavin uh, had a little adventure, a little extracurricular activity that was not exactly scheduled. Ask him about it. It's a really great goddamn story. Uh, the following eight winners, some of you may have left early and may not know, who will be playing it on Friday in the, uh, in the People's Tournament. Max Rickard, Cindy Fletley, Jeff Halter, John Silvestri, Cynthia Kearns, Alexander Kearns, I, I, I see some nepotism going on there. No relation? Oh, random. Random.org, yeah, random.org. Guess who owns that URL? Cynthia and Alexander Kearns. Brittany Ransbottom and Melissa LaRoe. Congratulations to one and all. If you know any of them and they are not here, first of all, why are they not at our show? And second of all, please let them know uh, that they'll be taking part in that tournament. I will now turn over the rest of the prize giving to Coach Cruz, Stormy Costanza. Okay, first of all, the prizes arrayed right here are some of the prizes that are going to be raffled uh, in connection with the activity book. So a little motivation, take a good gander. Uh, for now, these are the prizes given away for the participants today, drawn for the tabletop taste test. Who did that today? That was amazing, yes. The prizes are going to be uh, together t-shirts, Magic the Gathering Clash Pack, Freedom Games Deck Building, the Deck Building Game. And four seats to play against Steve Jackson at Munchkin. If you hear your name called, uh, you will need to go to the info desk after the show, roughly 5 p.m. And these winners are Kathleen Anderson, Ross Martin, Mina Von Felich. Eric Alos, <laughs> Jet Jones, yes, that's the most awesome name ever, <laughs> Tim Morris, Zoe Clancy, and William Summers. One more very important bit of, of uh, sponsorship stuff to cover. We failed last night. We, we, we I failed last night <laughs> in that there was one sponsor whose logo did not make it onto the Sea Monkey, which is, yes, that's the correct reaction. That's how, that's how my heart feels right now, people. Make that sound for me again, please. That's how it feels. So to make up for it, um, there's a whole litany of things we're going to do. But to start, uh, the only way I'm going to remember is to say, I will never forget the name Green Ronin Publishing. And beyond that, I think a thousand people repeating that at me will help me remember this. So please repeat after Wait, me. Wait, before you do, when you do it, point at him accusingly as you say it. <laughs> the words are, I will never forget Green Ronin Publishing. I will never forget Green Ronin Publishing. Thank you very much. Wow, we get more technology. I got a phone now. That's okay. You can. And now uh, we would like to bring out Danielle Davis, Lady Killer herself, to announce yesterday's social media prize winner. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks so much for posting. Tag Joko Cruz. Use Joko Cruz hashtag. And uh, now that the Twitter is up. Know that we'll be monitoring that too, so you don't need internet necessarily to win. 
But uh, congratulations to Don Edstrom. He is our winner from yesterday. He will be winning the Maze of Games from Lone Shark Games. Uh, Don, come to the info desk after this show to pick up your prize. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Daniel. Now, Paul, back to you. No, that's not Okay. All right. That's just want to know where I am. Um, this is, you know, this is not any of our phones. It's one of the crew members, and it is ringing off the hook. Somebody's in trouble. Uh, okay, very briefly, want to go over uh, the upcoming schedule. Today, immediately following the announcements, is the Paul and Storm Show and Allie Brosh. But you knew that. Dinner this evening, you know how that works. There's a number of, of awesome shadow and the writing track panels and gaming track panels. Uh, I'll mention a couple of the writing track panels at 7.30 in the Star Lounge, this, The Business of Writing, uh, with Kelsey DeConnick and Matt Fraction, hosted by John Scalzi. The Comedy Songwriting Panel, uh, with the usual people you would suspect maybe who are going to be in that. Uh, and oh, the Teach Any Man to Be a Nerd panel, that's going to be a fun one. And then tonight, here in this room at 10.45, is Comedy Night with Solomon Giorgio, Rhea Butcher, Michael Ian Black, and Cameron Esposito. So you're aware of how doors work for that show? Basically, there's a show, uh, uh, this, this, the, the regular show that happens in here for the normals ends around 10. We're getting in here as soon as that show ends, and as soon as we can get things set up and going, we'll open doors. Uh, we'll do that as soon as we, as we can, but if, if things are delayed a little bit, we appreciate your patience with that. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Why did we schedule this for 9 a.m.? I don't know. Management Q&A. Uh, that will be fun. Uh, let's see. <laughs> was, was that a ha-ha from Hodgman about this? Oh, no, it was Wheaton. Sorry, I accused you of that, Hodgman. Of course it was Wheaton. Um, we will mention, uh, among many great uh, gaming events that are happening. The specialist of all gaming events as far as I am concerned, the Sausage Party Mega Tournament, which is a game that uh, our friends at Lone Shark Games are, are basing on one of our dumb songs. Yeah, how did that happen? And we're going to be testing that out, uh, and we'll be there for that. Uh, there's a Married with Creativity panel at 10 a.m., uh, and then we're going to get off the ship, some of us at least, and are going to go visit lovely St. Thomas. But I also, uh, during that time, uh, oh, there's also a reading from N.K. Jemison at 11 o'clock. I, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that last night. Uh, I was also told to mention uh, both, shut up. Uh, Molly Lewis will be having office hours if you're not getting off the ship. She'll have office hours at 1 o'clock. And also at 1 o'clock, John Hodgman and John Roderick are having their hot tub office hours. And I was told it should actually be called Hot John Tub Time. <laughs> Hot Time John Machine. I don't know, there are a lot of, there, there's a lot of options being pitched. What did we set a lot? Hot John Tub Machine. That was the one, yeah, that was, that, that was worth the punch up. You're right. Uh, Hot John Tub Machine will be happening tomorrow as well. Uh, and uh, a bunch of other great stuff. Oh, it's me. Yes, yes, John Hodgman, what can I do for you, sir? Okay, so they're going one to three, so you can see Molly and then go see them at the tub. Uh, which is a sentence I didn't think I would say aloud. <laughs> but there we have it, nonetheless. Uh, so with all of, and you all know how to read a schedule, so you know what's coming up. So we look forward to seeing you over the next day or two. And with that said, please welcome to the stage. Oh good, he's there. <laughs> Jonathan Colton. Oh, good, he said. We weren't sure if he was going to show up. Uh, hi, everybody. I have a question. How many people are not exactly sure what day it is? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Bruce having full effects. Uh, just so you know, uh, the uh, seat conditions are such that uh, currently, every few minutes, the height of the wave uh, corresponds with the height of the hull in a very dramatic fashion, <laughs> and the wave smacks into the hull and makes a loud booming sound, as if we had just run over a whale. We have not <laughs> run over any whales. It is, however, a little disconcerting, 
especially when you were backstage waiting to do a show. So expect great things from our performers. Uh, Ali Brosh is uh, the creator and artist and writer behind uh, the fantastic uh, blog and webcomic Hyperbole and a Half. Uh, we're glad to have her here. I, I asked her uh, backstage, uh, you know, is there anything you want me to say when I introduce you? And she said, yeah, <laughs> tell them that I, I'm in a very strange state of mind right now. And that uh, it might get a little weird. <laughs> but if we all hold on tight, it'll be great. So would you please hold on very tightly for Ali Brosh. <laughs> 